Hello, Emiana. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine too. Last night you don't be here. No. Don't was here. <laughs> yes. I I have um many works. <laughs> Homeworks. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, a lot of yes. Sí. The, last, the last one. Yes. One, the last one class. And Yo estoy borrando un montón de cosas aquí. Sí. Mire que casi no hay público ahorita. No, poquitos estamos. Good evening. Good evening, Good Laura. evening Ileana, Laura. No, no las escuchaba, tenía... ¿Cómo, cómo siguió? En silencio. ¿Salud? Mejor, mejor, Pati, gracias. Con dolor de cabeza, a mí me molestan mucho los dolores de cabeza. Aunque padezco de migrañas. Pero allá de donde me agarran, pero cuando me da, me da. <ríe> es el tallazo. Ah. Pero ya mejor, gracias a Dios. Yo sí estaba. Estaba un tiempo así y me preocupé bastante porque pasaba todos los días y me daba <ríe> quizá unas 10 veces en el día, pero era algo increíble. No, no podía estar tranquila. Intermitente. Y, Sí, y súper fuerte. Y me hice unos chequeos así particulares y fui donde un neurólogo y me empezó a dejar medicamentos. Uh -huh. Porque lo, lo, los médicos que me habían visto antes, nada, no, no me hacían nada en las medicinas. Y algunas solo me Ay. drogaban todas y andaba yo toda zombie. Todo zombie, cabal. Ajá, entonces ese medicamento, el, el doctor me probó con unos y no me funcionaron, al mes me vio y nada. Y luego lo que me dio, solo esa pastillita me, me tomaba, se llama topiramato, es lo que contiene, pero el nombre comercial es neurotoprel. Mm. Good evening. Y entonces, mire, ese, con eso estuve cinco meses continuos, pero desde como a los diez días de haberlo en, en, empezado a usar, yo descansé de los dolores de cabeza y lo seguí, lo seguí, lo seguí por cinco meses. Uh -huh. Y luego lo dejé de tomar. Pasé así casi todo este año. Y parte del año pasado sin dolores. Hasta este año me volvieron hace unos meses. Y lo volví a comprar y lo he vuelto a tomar. Y ya no los tengo. Y estoy tomando otra vez. Sí, pero sí, así es súper bien, bien y solo con eso. Y, y ni caro es. Sí, sí, a veces a no, no es. Esto. Te voy a anotar el nombre para que lo veas. Se llama. Ah, para, para verle el componente. Es como, que tor, es como el que te placo. Similar no, al que te placo. Este es un preventivo de la migraña. Ah, yo por el nombre, casi siempre el catorolaco le dan casi el mismo nombre comercial. Neurotoprel, así se llama, todo piramato, ok. Uh -huh. Lo voy a, a buscar, a mí me estuvieron tratando un tiempo, fíjese, con, con, con un medicamento también, pero... Igual se me quitaron desde que quedé embarazada. Ya después que tuve mi bebé y todo, hasta que ya tenía la niña quizás como un año, seis meses, siete meses, fue que me volvieron otra vez. No que todo ese tiempo ya no, ya no sabía yo que era un dolor de cabeza así. Sí. Se calman, se van por, por, por momentos. Sí. Claro. 
Okay, um, good evening to everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening, good evening teacher. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Yes, good evening. teacher. Okay, okay. We hear Perfect. very well. <laughs> okay, very good. So, uh, well, what have you been up to? Good, bad, so so. Very good. Very good. Oh, that's good. Good teacher. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, good, as you, okay, perfect. Um, okay, yes. as you know, uh, tonight is the last video conference of this course. This is the um the, the end uh, of all this process that we have been taking. Uh, with English Corporativo. Um, they, I remember that they sent a message in the WhatsApp group uh, that said, th this is just for clarification, uh, that says that um, to tonight we finish with the course. They mentioned something about that a, a, the, in, in the course we are going to find like an extra time, but a, that extra time is just for a uh, in support that has to check some things here in the course and, and check all the grades and, and, and the people that has been working uh, during this process okay but uh, if you don't finish the course tonight that's mean that you won't be able to go to the next uh course that is pre intermediate three uh, this is uh, just an ad that i'm uh, telling you uh, about the course, okay? So do you have any question before starting with uh, the class? Yes, no? No, have a no teacher. No, no a yet. No yet? No. Okay, very good. So um, as you know, uh, this class, the, the uh, um, in this uh, night, we're going to be solving the final test, okay, in, in all the courses, uh, English Corporativo uh, always ask us to uh, work on those exercises, the exercises that you had for, um, for ending, okay, for ending this course. Uh, we're going to check, we're going to uh, see uh, also, and we're going to be working on the exercises uh, of the final test uh, that, has many sections, okay? We have section eight, section B, section C, section D, and also section E. In each of them, we have like different, um, different exercises, okay? Uh, and different instructions. For instance, in the first part that corresponds to the listening, uh, we're, what we're going to do is to listen to the conversation and, and click the um, correct information uh, that correspond to three, dif I mean, four different sentences. Um, we are going to, to, to choose just only one option, okay? And we are going to check uh, the, the, the answers here and let's see uh, what happened with uh, this part. I, I know that some of you have completed and that's okay, but some of you haven't. Um, for the ones that uh, already complete, you are going uh, during this video conference just to review um, some of the topics that we had been discussing, we had been studying uh, during this course, okay? Uh, the ones that haven't finished it yet, uh, we are going to be like checking the answers, like checking the, the uh, some, uh, Key, uh, key parts of, of these uh, topics uh, that we pre previously studied, okay? Um, first of all, we're going to start with the listening part. In the listening part, uh, we're going to go to a link, okay, that is hosted in uh, Drive, and we're going to listen this out. Uh, please let me know if you cannot listen the audio. Uh, in that way, I can set up some things here and, and try to fix it as soon as possible. Okay. 
Listen to the conversations. Can you hear that? Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Listen. Okay, very good. So I'm going to play it and then we're going to be checking uh, each of, the, of these exercises, okay? Let's start. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. <coughs> look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's <coughs> over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean, how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red T-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. <laughs> okay, there we have the audio. Um, as you know, we have like uh, four different exercises here. For, um, for each exercise, we have three different options. Um, the first one, it says Emily is short in, in uh, her uh, 30s, okay, or 30s, sorry. Emily is a medium age and is in her 20s. Emily is fairly short and about 25. What is the correct option for this exercise? Can you identify it? Lady A, C, the number three. Can you read it for me, please? Emily is fairly short and about 25. Okay, very good. Number two. What is the correct option for exercise number two? We have the option. Steve has blue eyes and black hair. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair or Steve is only 29 years old and handsome. Number two, can you read it for me, Miss, please? The number two. Number two. Okay. Can you read it, please? Yes. The Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Excellent, okay. Number three, we have uh, as, as the other exercises, three options. We have the thief was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. The thief has on a black shirt and glasses. The thief has lunch with Mr. Brown and the coffee. The first. The first one. The number one. Okay. The thief was short, has a white beard, and was elderly. The number four. 
We have. In this case, can you read it? Can you read for me, for me, please? Can any of you read the correct uh, um, option? Number three. Number three. Okay. <clears throat> I read teacher. Okay, Miss. I, J, and Penny, and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the coat. Excellent, very good. And then we have the options uh, uh, we did uh, collaboratively. Uh, sorry, I mean collaborative wait. And let's check what happened, okay? Uh, according to, to the platform, we, we had 20 points of 20. That's mean that all the options are correct. Okay, and there we have also each of the options there. Let's go to the following exercise. And uh, just let me clear drawings here. Okay, there we have. Okay. Um, in this part, we had um, the instruction and it says complete the conversations, use the present perfect and the verse given in the brackets. Do you remember what kind of um, uh, exercise do we have here? What do we have to do? What do we have to use? <clears throat> Okay, you remember the topic? Please. This topic uh, is referring to? Present, present perfect. The present use, perfect. okay, very good. The Verbs use of present. In past participle. Exactly. Okay, we are using okay. here the present perfect. Okay, present per perfect. What do you remember about the present perfect? As I said before, we're going to be reviewing topics. So in that, uh, in the following that okay. part, I'm going to be asking you some questions. Okay, okay. what do you remember in, about present perfect, Miss? When, when we use present perfect uh, with activities begin in the past and se mantiene en el presente. Okay, okay. <laughs> begin in the past in, Okay, activities that uh, began in the past and keeps in the present. Okay, or keeps in the present. Okay. So, um, do you remember the structure? Any of you remember the structures of, of the present perfect? Uh, remember that we have affirmative, negative, and, and interrogative uh, sentences. Do you remember the structure for interrogative sentence using present perfect? What do we have to use at the beginning of uh, the sentences uh, that are in derogative? In affirmative sentences, mm -hmm. first is the subject. The subject. Okay. Plus have or has. Okay, that means the auxiliary plus verb. Plus the principal verb in past. Main verb, okay. The... Plus complement. Plus complement. That's all, that's all, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, we're that's going all. to use, uh, as you say, Miss Serena, in, in, in uh, present perfect, in interrogative, uh, I mean, in affirmative sentences, we're going to use, first of all, the subject, then the auxiliary verb, then uh, we're going to be using the, the main verb in past participle, and also we're going to be adding a complement or an object to uh, the sentence. So I will ask you again, uh, what is the, cor the correct uh, structure for using interrogative sentences with present perfect tense? First, uh, we have have or has. Okay, the auxiliary verb. Second. Second, um, el subject. Okay, subject. Plus the verb in past. 
Plus Virgin Pants. Just in Pants or... Plus Complement. Just in Pants or there is something missing there? Is there something missing? Virgin Pants. There are participles. Ah, participles. Ah, no. yeah. El pasado participle. Uh -huh. Yes. Plus complement plus interrupt. Uh, question, question mark. mark. Question mark. Okay. That's all. That's the structure that we have. Uh, when we refer to subject, what does it mean? What can we use there? In subject, we can use what? In subject. Okay. What do we refer uh, when we said subjects? What are, what are we referring to? Subjects are uh, sometimes cool. Person, pronoun. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yes. Yes. Pronouns. Okay. Pronouns. pronouns. Is one of them. What else can we use there? Pronouns and modifier. No. And now modifier. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can use uh, in, in in the subject. We can use uh, nouns and pronouns. Okay. Pronouns. When we refer to nouns, okay. that mean could be like proper nouns or common nouns. Remember that. Um, well, there we have the, the those uh, and that review about the present perfect. Let's start with the exercises. Um, in the first exercise, in the first sentence, we have have you. We have a blank space there. To any good movie lately? What is the correct option for this sentence? Have you been? Have you been? Okay, been. I'm going to try that. Have you been? Okay, and we have a, as an answer in, in, in part B, it says, yes, I have already seen. 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 Okay. Seen. Seen three films this month. Mm -hmm. a, exercise number two. Uh, uh, option eight. Uh, Which one? Ha? Has. has. Ah, has. Okay. Has. He ever eaten Thai food before? Okay. And the answer is no. He has never. Mm -hmm. He has uh, never. Had it. Have like that? Have? No. Have. Ah, have. Had. With D at the end. Had. Had. Had his life. Okay. He has ever, he, he has never had it in his life. Very good. In this part, the instruction says, uh, read the sentences and choose the correct answer. And we have a three different sentences. So I'm going to ask you. In the first option, it says, I live in Boston. We have a blank space there. Five years. I love every minute I was there. Check it out or take a look to this sentence. What Four. is the topic that we are referring to? Yes. Okay. First of all, uh, we're going to be discussing about the topic that this sentence is referring to. You remember the topic? The topic is the to the for, for and the since. since. Okay, for since. Very good. And when do we use for and when do we use uh, since? For. This for is use it with a specific time and since a specific moment, teacher. And a specific moment. 
Okay. Um, another thing that we can take or we can keep in mind when we are referring to foreign scenes is that uh, if we use scenes, um, we are referring to dates where uh, something begun. Uh, for instance, I, I can say like uh, since Christmas, okay? Or since, um, what else? Since holidays. So it, it, we, if we are referring to, uh, to um, actions that has a beginning and haven't finished yet, so we are going to use scenes. Four is for um, when, when we use period of times. Uh, I remember that I explained that. Uh, in this case, in the sentence number one, what do we have to use? Uh, scenes or four? Scenes. Four. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. No, yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. I was asking you, what do we have to use there in the in the sentence number two? Sink. Sink. Okay. Let's teacher, see. teacher, no. sorry. The correct answer in the number one is four. Is it four? Okay. And just following you, you are the ones uh, who are telling me the the answers. I'm just checking here. Okay. Uh, number three. What is the options that you had for this one? Four. Four. Okay. And let's see what happened. We're going to send this and check the points here. We have 20 points of 20. Very good. Let's go to the following exercise. We have a, okay, part C. Choose the correct answer. Uh, the instructions that we had for this uh, part in the, the first exercises, it says, uh, read the following sentences and choose the correct word. Well, here we have, my brother is, I have a blank space there, he's 20, uh, he's 20 and goes to college in Arizona. What is the topic that we are referring to with this sentence. You remember that, uh, Rosa Maria, and you want to participate? I, I saw that you raised your hand. Excuse me? Uh, I saw that you raised your hand. Do you have any question for me? Or do you want to comment something? Have a come? Do you have any question? Or do you want to comment something? Eh, la duda que tenía era con respecto a dos exámenes a ver qué era, pero en referente a la auxiliar have, have, uh -huh. que no sé si la pronunciación es have or have. Ok, la pronunciación, la, la correcta pronunciación de ese este, verbo auxiliar es have, have, okay, have. have. Ok. Ah. We have two different uh, life forms of, of, of using it. We have have, that is for first person, second person, and third person plural. And we have has with S, has, uh, that we use it just for third person singular. Um, and that's all. Okay. Okay. Do you have any other any other question? No. No. Okay, let's start with this. Um, my brother's is blank space, he's 20s, 
and goes to college in Arizona. What is the topic that we are referring to with this uh, exercise? Do you remember that? Like you look, like you look the people. Uh, mm -hmm. You mean describing people? The topic? The, the topic. The parents. Okay. The topic I don't remember. You remember, but uh, but what do you remember about it? What does she like? Look, look like. Okay, what does? What does she look like? Okay, but in this case we have like three different options. Do you remember what is the name for these three words? How we how we call it? how we call these three words? What are uh, they? What does it mean? My brother is yours. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I'm asking you about uh, what are those? Are adjectives? Are adverbs? Uh, are prepositions? What are those? Do you remember? Preposition. Oh, prepositions. Okay. Preposition. Those are prepositions. Okay. Very good. In, um, if we use in the sentence, my brother is in the blank space, is it correct to say my brother is about or my brother is at or my brother is in? Which one is the correct one? In. In. Okay. Let's see. My brother is in his 20s and goes to college in Arizona. Very good. Let's see the second exercise. Mm. The second exercise is Tracy, blank space, short, stray, black hair, and blue eyes. <clears throat> what are we doing with that, with that sentence? We are Half. describing describing the appearance. Describing the people. Okay, people. In this case, we are describing to who? Tracy. Tracy. Okay. And the correct verb that we are going to use for this purpose is does, has, or is. Has. 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 Okay. Tracy has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Let's go to sentence number three. Remember, I'm, I'm just checking uh, the answers that you are given. Um, sentence number three. Phil's nephew, Blank space, five feet eight, and has star, brown, vert, and mustache. We have three different options here. Is, has, and are. Which, which one is the correct one? Is. 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 Okay, is. Is. Very good. Sentence number four. Has Martin ever, blank space, an appointment? We have three different options. Miss, clean, and lost. Which one is the correct option for this? Miss. 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 Okay. And what is the purpose, oh, I mean, what is the topic that we are referring to with this sentence? Do you remember the topic? Present perfect. Present perfect, very good, excellent. Interrogative sentence. Using interrogative sentence, very good, me. Thank you. Number five. Uh, number five says, how many times have you lost your, and we have blank space, classes, sports, cell phone? Which one is the correct one? 
Cellphone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Cell phone. Okay, very good. In the sentence number three, it says, have you ever blank space a truck? What is the correct one there? Driving. 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 Okay. Something is happening with this sentence. Can you identify what is what is happening with it? What is the mistake that we can uh, find there? Teacher, uh, it's driving. Driving. Okay, driving. Driving. Okay, driving. Very good. Thank you. So, um, tell me, I I'm asking you, can you tell me what is the a mistake that we have in this sentence because there is a mistake. Can you identify that? Uh, Where you see question mark? Okay. Oh, very good. Excellent. That's the mistake that we have missed. We are missing. The question mark. Question mark. Okay, question marker. Very good. There is a question mark that we need to use in this sentence. Why, Miss? Because it's a question. Because it's a it's an interrogative sentence. Okay, because it's an interrogative. Uh -huh. sentence. Yes, very good. So let's see the score of this exercise. 20 of 20. Now we're going to check part D. This part is uh, for rewriting and scramble sentences. The instruction said, put the words in the correct order to make sentences or questions. There we have the, the sentences that, are, that we need, uh, I mean, to unscramble and we have the blank space there that we are going to use for that purpose. And what I need you to do with this exercise is to uh, write here in the chat box the correct uh, option for for each of the sentences that we have. We have four sentences, and uh, you must send four sentences in using the correct order. Is it clear what I'm saying? Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Yes? Okay, so go ahead.
Teacher, I have a question. Okay, sir, tell me. Eh, al responder esta, eh, se la, le tomamos captura y se la enviamos. Uh, I think it's better if you send just a message. Uh, but if you have the, the screenshot, it's okay. Okay, you decide. Eh, eh, al privado o al grupo? Eh, al grupo. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay, do you finish? Finish. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good, excellent. Finish. Excellent, very good. So then we have, uh, I'm going to show you uh, the answer here. Okay, there we have, here. Okay, here we have the options that we have for it. It says, Chris is really gorgeous and in her Stories, or we can say like Christy is in her thirties and really coaches. The number two, it says, does Sun wear glasses and have a mustache, or does Sam has, I mean, have a mustache and wear glasses? And the number three it says Cindy has long red hair and is medium heat. Or the options that we have for this is Cindy is medium heat and has long red hair. And the number four, the options that we have for this is who's the person sitting on the coach next to Jackson? Or we can say light, uh, who's the person sitting next to Jack Jackson on the coach. Those are the options for those um, sentences. That, that's the way that we have to do it. Do you find those? Habían pensado en estas dos opciones? O solo en una en específico? Solo en una. Okay. okay, very good. So, but we, we have two options for it. We have two options. Very good. Uh, let's go to the following. And it says, oh, this is a reading part. Um, in this part, you are going to help me to read this text. Uh, but first of all, we're going to be checking here uh, the instruction. It, and it says, read, um, I mean, read Sarah's email then check four things she can do in her neighborhood. Uh, I'm going to make it bigger. Let's see if I can. Uh, can you read it in that way? Okay, that way. 
Is there any volunteer who wants me, who wants to help me? Hello, can you hear me? Me too. Okay, miss, go ahead. Hi, Nina, guess what? I moved to an, into my new apartment yesterday. I really like my new roommates. I also like the neighborhood. There are lots of different restaurants here. Last night, I ate at a Vietnamese restaurant just around the corner. The food was delicious, and I want to try a new Brazilian restaurant near here. For breakfast this morning, I came to this great coffee shop across from my apartment. Actually, it's an internet coffee. So I'm emailing you now. Okay, stop there. It's really stop there. Coffee. And any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Miss, go ahead. Uh, oh. Hello. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> it's a really convenient neighborhood. Mm -hmm. There are Lob Lobman on Nora Street at three are some interested in store to when a store sells lot of amazing CDs, uh, DVDs, and book from all over the world. And my normal roommate, roommate told me there a dance club just to block away. I went to go dancing every weekend. Come be Okay, very good. There we have the text, and let's check the exercises. Um, as you know, what we are going to do is check the four things she can do in her neighborhood according to the text. And here we have a list. Uh, and it says, Sarah can read books, eat Venezuelan food, exercise at a gym, get a haircut, go dancing, go shopping, Make travel arrangement, see movies, send emails, wash and dry clothes. Okay, what are the correct um, options for this part? Can you identify that? Can you identify the options there? Go dancing, go shopping, send any emails, watch and dry clothes. Okay, can you repeat it again, please? Go dancing. Okay, go dancing is one of them. Go shopping. Go shopping. Send an email. Emails. Okay, send emails. Watch and dry clothes. Wash and dry clothes. Okay, those are the four things. Let's let's take this. Uh, okay, there we have. And Okay, we got 20 points here, 20 of 20. That's mean all the answers were correct. Excellent. And the options that we had for this correspond to this exercise. And that's been all. That was um, the exercises that we had for the final test. And in the last part, as you can see, um, we are just checking in, in, the, in the text different likes, vocabulary 
And also we are checking some different structures uh, that correspond to the topics that we had been discussing. Uh, there we are going to find a simple, uh, the simple pass, okay? And I would like to ask you, what do you remember about simple pass? When do we use simple pass? What are the structures? What are the affirmative, negative, and interrogative uh, forms of simple pass? Do you remember that? Can you tell me about it? Can you tell me something about it? Subject plus did. Okay, plus subject. Verb plus complement. Mm -hmm. That is what? Affirmative, negative, or interrogative? Affirmative. Affirmative. Okay. Someone else? The interrogative is did plus subject plus verb in present plus complement plus interrogative. Question mark, okay. Well, we're yeah. going to go to the first one that is the affirmative and I have to clarify something. When we use affirmative sentences using the simple past, we are not going to use the auxiliary, auxiliary verb um, did, okay? Because it's not needed. What is the correct uh, structure for it? In, in the case of the affirmative, we're going to use the subject and we're going to use the verb in past, okay? That's all. The subject, verb in past, and also the complement or the object, the way you want to call it. Uh, but the principal thing here is that we don't use the auxiliary uh, did. When are we going to use auxiliary, uh, the, the auxiliary did? Do you remember that? When do we use the auxiliary did? When do we use the auxiliary did? Hello? We use e, the auxiliary form negative, negative sentences. Okay, very good. Negative and sentences. Interrogative sentences. And interrogative and sentences. Or questions, interrogative. okay? Interrogative yeah. sentences or negative sentences. In negative. that way, we are going to use did. The structure for negative sentence is subject plus the auxiliary verb plus not plus the verb that must be in Past or present? Present. Very, in present. present. Very good. Why do we use present instead of past? Because? Because what? Why do we use present instead of in, past? Because I use because we affirmative in affirmative sentences. In negative sentences. Why do we use the auxiliary did? You have the answer, Ms. Garcia. You said that, okay? Because we're using the auxiliary verb did, and did is the past of uh, do, okay? If we use did, that means that we don't need uh, the past of the main verb. We're going to use not. it in present. We're going to use subject, did, not, the verb, not. the verb in present, and also the complement. Uh, well, in the case of interrogative sentences, can you tell me uh, the structure of it? What is structure? Did, okay, the auxiliary verb. Plus subject. Very good. Plus verb. Excellent. The verb must be in present or past. Means the verb is in present or past? In present. In present. Excellent. Very good. And what else? And we have to use? Plus verb in present plus complement plus complement. Plus complement. Subject. Plus complement plus? On object. Oh, complement or object? Plus, plus? Question mark. 
question mark. Excellent. Very good. Yes. That's the way that we're going to construct sentences in interrupted form using simple past. Excellent. Well, that's been all. That's uh, been all the review of these topics that we have been discussing during this class. Okay, guys, this is the end of, of all the video conference that we had for this course, for, for in this case, for pre-intermediate uh, two. Uh, congratulations to everybody because uh, I think that most of you have completed the platform and, and has got more than the 80% uh, required to go to the next course. Okay, congratulations to all of you. I'm going to start sharing this. And, um, bien. Pues aquí nos despedimos. Aquí, este es el final del curso del preintermedio eh, 2. Mm -hmm. Agradecerles, pues, la paciencia. Agradecerles el conectarse todos los días. Han, han sido, pues, Eh, muy puntuales todos los días pues conectándose ahí cinco minutitos antes dos minutitos antes pues eso es eso muestra el interés que tiene cada uno de ustedes el querer aprender el querer estudiar y adquirir este idioma que es bastante bonito todos ustedes tienen un gran potencial eh, para pues, seguir aprendiendo seguir estudiando Y créanme que este, en el rumbo que ustedes llevan, pues, llevan un conocimiento bastante grande porque ustedes ya hablan inglés eh, y lo que necesitan, pues, es practicarlo. Buscar a alguien con quien practicar ese inglés que ustedes ya conocen. Y de esa forma, pues, ir adquiriendo más vocabulario, ir conociendo un poquito más, ir adentrándose este, en el idioma. Pero las bases, ustedes ya las tienen. Eh, pues agradecerles este, nuevamente y créanme que he aprendido muchísimo con ustedes también y espero que ustedes también hayan aprendido eh, algo pues de mí eh, de ahí pues decirles felicidades porque la mayoría ya tiene el 80% si no es un poquito más y van a poder inscribirse en el próximo curso. Ahí solamente estar pendientes de cuando les envíen las informaciones para inscribirse o los correos que este, van a tener que estar enviando. Y sigan adelante. Ese es lo que, lo que yo les puedo decir. Seguir adelante y créanme que van por un muy buen camino. Gracias a usted, teacher. Y gracias porque sí. a pesar de que ha estado enfermito, mal de salud y todo eso, yo he visto cómo ha estado con... Uh, el flu. <laughs> yes. I started dando no clases. Ah? I got COVID. For, the, for that reason, I've been like in, in that way. Me lo imaginé. <laughs> sí, se le notaba mucho, mucho. Pero sí, ese esfuerzo que hizo estar ahí con nosotros. Bueno, gracias. Muchas gracias porque hemos aprendido bastante con usted. Y lo bueno es que nos habla bastante en inglés, las instrucciones y todo, y eso nos ayuda oyéndolo, este, nos ayuda a entenderlo y a, y a aprender más, porque si usted nos hablara más en español y solo leyera ahí unas cuantas cosas en inglés, es como que si no estuviéramos avanzando mucho. Así que gracias. Ok, gracias, gracias a usted, mis, mis Patricia. Pues, este, la verdad, pues, Eh, el, mi propósito era ese, ese cuando cuando me ofrecieron el inglés de intermedio este y pues la primer clase que es de la, la de fogueo principal pues siempre me gusta como introducir un poquito de, de, de solo inglés para ver a ver cómo cómo reaccionamos y si nos gusta o, o, o si no nos gusta porque este créanme que en este grupo pues ha, ha sido bastante bonito que de, desde el primer momento pues que yo comencé a hablar en inglés este todo chévere, ok, no hubo ninguna este queja de este mire que solo inglés nos habla o mire yo no le entiendo, sino que siempre estuvo esa disposición a querer aprender. Si había algo que este tal vez no quedaba claro, pues ustedes lo preguntaban y yo con todo gusto este les les podía dar indicaciones en español. Pero si no practicamos el inglés, muy difícilmente vamos a poder avanzar. Eh, el hecho de escucharlo, el hecho de hablarlo 
pues créanme que es muy provechoso y, y es eh, bastante bonito pues que ustedes tengan esa actitud de este, eh, envolverse en el idioma y eso es muy muy importante Muchas gracias, gracias. teacher Gracias, gracias. Thank you. <ríe> Ahí estamos Muchas Jimmy Gracias Bueno, <ríe> un gracias. placer Un placer Thank you, ha sido un Thank placer. You. So much. Un placer. Good night, everybody. Pero, <ríe> espero See you next time. Más adelante. Night, okay, y pasen una linda noche. Bendiciones a todos. Cuídense. Pues llegamos al final. Y pues tal vez nos vemos más adelante. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Thank Bless you so much, everybody. Good night, everybody. See you at the night. next level. Bye. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Oh, antes, antes de que se retiren, no sé si podríamos hacer algo que esto este, lo estaba olvidando. No sé si podrían, eh, los chicos que tienen apagada la cámara, este, eh, encenderla y solo para tener este, el recuerdo de la, de la fotografía pues, del grupo. Pero, ¿no? Aunque sea al final. ¿no? Unos... <risa> sí, aunque sea al final. Vaya, este, muy bien. Eh, Deme un segundo, solamente voy a... Ampliar esta cámara. No me acuerdo con cuál era que se, se veía completo. Bueno. Aquí está full screen. Ok, muy bien. Ahorita voy a tomar la captura. Sonríen. Ok, ya está, excelente. Se las voy a compartir ahí por el, por WhatsApp para que la vean ustedes también. Ok, bye bye, bye. blessing. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Adiós a todos.